My name is Rosebud. I'm a blogger, a foodie, and a Southern California native. I would love to invite you to explore with me Southern California in search of amazing food and drinks. Today we are at the heart of Temecula's wine country. We are visiting my friend Chef Felix at Robert Brinzoni Vineyards and Winery. Let's see what kind of Italian goodness he has for us today. Hey Felix, how, hey, how are, are you? you? Good. How you been? Pretty good, thank you. And yourself? Thank you, thank you. Good. Awesome. It's always a pleasure to be here at Renzoni. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. What are you making for us today? So we're going to be making polenta, your polenta, with some uh, Italian sausage and a bolognese sauce, and then top it with Asiago cheese, uh, fresh basil, and uh, bell peppers. Sweet. Can't wait to taste it. While Chef Felix was preparing some awesome food, I got a chance to catch up with Robert Renzoni. Thank you for uh, visiting us today. Absolutely. I love being Clifford. here. Thank you. Delicious food, delicious wine. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your winery. Winery started in 2008 out of our production barn. We opened up our new facility uh, just shy of three years ago, uh, which we opened the, the Trattoria uh, a year after that. So that's been about two years now that we've had the Trattoria. It's a lovely place. Yeah, we've had it. Thank you. Thank you. We, uh, it's a constant project that never ends. We right. constantly try to enhance it and improve it and make it better and better. But uh, we opened officially in 2008. And uh, so here we are going on our ninth year. We predominantly uh, produce Italian varietals here. And uh, anything from Sangiovese to Pinot Grigio to if you like a sweet wine, we have Moscato. Um, we make a lot of different red blends. Which one would be your most popular red? Most popular red is still our Sangiovese. And your white? White Pinot Grigio. Those are the first wines that put us on the map. I tell people, people know Napa Valley for Cabernet Sauvignon. I like to believe we're heading down the road when people talk about Syrah and Sangiovese, they'll be speaking of Temecula Valley. And we're really excited about that. I think that's really where we're headed. Wine country is such an amazing place to come visit. Uh, the vineyards are so lovely, breathtaking views. Uh, you know, Temecula is a wonderful region. We, we're growing leaps and bounds that we can keep up with. I mean, it's, uh, it's exciting to see the growth of this region, the beauty of the region, it just keeps getting better and better. And what's nice about Temecula, it's, it's, it's an hour from San Diego, it's an hour and a half from Los Angeles, it's an hour from Orange County, or an hour from Palm Springs. So we're surrounded by 23 million people, and at a th you know, within an hour basically. And uh, so it's a nice, you know, staycation, if you will, or a day getaway. You could be sitting on the beach in Newport, on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. and say, hey, you know what, let's go wine tasting. Within an hour, you're at the first tasting room with your first glass of wine. So our, our location is really is, is really key as well. Robert, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for visiting us today. It was a look pleasure. To, thank you, we look forward to seeing you again. Please come back. visit us. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Felix, that looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Can you tell me a little bit about the dish? So, uh, so what we did, we we seared the polenta, you know, a nice crust on the outside, and then we seared the the, the sausage too, and then we put it on top of the polenta, and then we uh, heat up our um, our meat sauce with, uh, and then we throw some uh, fresh basil. We top it everything, and then we saute. Uh, fresh cut of bell peppers and green peppers. Alrighty. And then we finish with some asiago, of course. And can you tell me a little bit about the sausage? Is it a spicy sausage? It's a mild link sausage. Alright. So it's a little bit, it has a little kick, but not too crazy. Okay. Yeah. I like the kick. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's try it. Go ahead. I could smell every all the ingredients as you were cooking them. Let me get some asiago cheese. Mmm, it's so delicious. <laughs> Very good. That's great, that's great. So tell me about, a little bit about your menu. We have salads, 
we have appetizers, we have chicken wings, we have uh, meat and cheese boards, you know, we have our, our pasta, we have a tortolache, you know, you can find a little bit of everything here. And then we change the menu according to, you know, for, for, the for the season, you know, for the winter. So this pretty much is for the winter and then we'll switch it around for spring again. Awesome. Chef Felix, thank you so much for cooking for us today. It was so amazing to be here. So delicious. I love your food. It's my pleasure. You're welcome anytime you guys want. Salud. Stay tuned for more adventures to come.